Good morning, everybody. Uh, first show of the day. We're live again at PCA 2022. Uh, we're in the Alec Bradley booth. We're here with Bl Bradley Rubin. <laughs> Not Bladley. Not Bladley. Bradley Rubin. <laughs> How you doing, sir? I'm doing good. I'm a little, little tired. Yeah. I heard I got some yeah. puffy eyes this morning, so... I'm just going to wake up and, and I'm going to not be tired. It's day three, so we're kind of all in that phase where we're like almost getting burnt out, but not quite yet. Like No, I'm, burn, I'm burnt you're out. That, you're I'm, burn, I'm burnt out, but I'm, I'm, in it for the, I'm in it for the whole day, and I just got to push through. So you're committed. Yeah. Right. That's what we want to hear. Zane's uh, punching the camera. Okay. beers at a brewery that we don't know the name of and you know you drop you drop the camera it's okay all right so you guys have uh, some cool new stuff to talk about what yeah. do you want to talk about first so the first thing i want to talk about is our big release our, our worldwide release all day production no limitations no nothing that would be the double broad leaf right here so this brand we've been working on for for a few years i don't say a few years for about a year now um i've always been wanting to make a cigar that uses broadleaf some of my favorite cigars use broadleaf um, and to get Connecticut broadleaf is very tough. It's everyone wants it. It's very expensive. So we grew our own broadleaf in Honduras. So we, we took some seeds, we planted in Honduras. Um, and when we were blending the cigar, we couldn't really just get like enough of that broadleaf flavor. Um, so, and I'm, you know, I'm still learning about the blending process and this and that, and what kind of works together. So I asked my, my father, Alan, and our vice president, Ralph, like, we maybe use it in the filler or the binder like thoughts what do you guys think i'm like yeah let's let's give it a shot so we do a at the the honduran broadly wrapper and binder and honduran and nicaragua filler so probably our most full strength cigar in terms of nicotine um but not super harsh on the palate i think it's a very creamy cigar other people told me it's heavy on the pepper yeah so mixed reviews on on that but i i think it's a very creamy cigar so so the two, the, the binder and the wrapper are both Honduran grown Connecticut broadly. Correct. Uh, are they the same? Are they different primings? Like is there any difference between uh, better grade on the wrapper? Yeah, yeah. It? Better grade on the wrapper yeah. and then the lower priming on the, on the binder. On awesome. The binder. Very cool. Yeah. And so this is part of the experimental series. So, Correct. So it's technically a follow up to like the Project 40s. Um, maybe tell people a little bit like what that series is kind of about and like how that came about. Yeah, so the experimental series was to focus on things that we've never done before. Um, if you look at a, a lot of our cigars, we have a kind of a, I don't wanna say formula, but we use a lot of different tobaccos, but just in different ways. So like we use um, this Trojas wrapper um, that on like Tempest and Prensado, that, and you'll, so you'll kind of see that we, we have like a standardization. These are all things that are completely new to us. And this music is so loud. <laughs> Um, these mics and are I'm, pretty good, so I'm hoping okay, it filters thank, it out pretty well, you. but yeah, it, um, it is very loud. So like for Project 40, we used Brazilian tobacco, so it was the first time we ever did that. So for this, um, it was the Honduran Broadleaf. I think we're maybe the first ones doing Honduran Broadleaf. Yeah, I, I smoked Nicaraguan Broadleaf, but I don't right. think I've ever had Honduran Broadleaf. So before. I think we're the first ones to do that, so that's kind of hence experimental series new yeah. to us. What I think is new to the industry as well. Um, so that's kind of the basis pun experimental series for the Broadleaf. Awesome. Um, the next thing I want to move on to is the PCA attendee exclusive. Uh, so, so this was the big mystery cigar that we're just throwing around now. And... Right. Uh, dropping, breaking. There we um, go. The limited, limited cigar. So we only did a thousand boats of these. So there's 10 packs, uh, four cigars in the pack. And this pack comes with four cigars that we do not make anymore. These cigars were not like found in the back of a warehouse somewhere aging for seven to 10 years or anything like that. We found all of our, our old bands in our warehouse right. and we we're like, maybe we should just remake these cigars. Like we discontinued, whenever we discontinue a cigar, we get all the people, oh man, I love that cigar. I wish you didn't discontinue. You should bring it back. It, like it didn't sell very well. That's yeah, why, that's, that's why, like that much, that's right? why we discontinue. People ask why we discontinue. It's, right. Sometimes it can be because of tobacco, but usually it's, it's sales. Yeah. Um, so we rebunded the cigars. So this SCR right here, select like cabinet reserve. Um, over here is uh, Sanctum, which is like the the newest of the bunch. Yeah, I remember that one from a few years ago. Yeah, about yeah. six six years ago. Yeah. Still has our, our current logo on it. Uh, this is the Vice Press. This is an off, if I remember correctly, an offshoot of Max. It's box press and then a little bit of a blend tweak. Yeah, that one's pretty old. I remember that right. from way back. <laughs> right, I've only smoked one of these ever. Yeah. And the last one is Max Connecticut, which I've never tried before. So. 
Uh, one one limited time run um, for PCA attendee uh, for PCA attendees only. So you have to be here to as a retailer to buy it, um, and we're only going to do one run of these. So buy buy your favorite cigars that you'll never be able to get again. Um, we brought it back for you guys. So if you like these cigars, now's your chance. So if one of these in here, everyone is just super stoked about, is there a chance you'll bring it back full production? Because, I mean, you, you re-blend it a little bit. You kind of, you have the tools to make them again, right? Like, yes. Because you didn't find them. Right. So what are the chances? I would say zero. Okay. <laughs> um, someone did bring up the idea, like, now that we did this, everyone can vote and they can pick yeah, which one. Yeah. I don't trust these people right. to bring back a full cigar line. And that you know, not trying to, to be mean or rude or anything like that, but um, you know, there's always a lot of talk until until it comes time comes time to buying, which is why. And I, I've heard Steve Saka say this a bunch of times, like I don't make Lanceros because Lanceros don't sell. We have a Lancero, we discontinued a Lancero, two Lanceros. Um, so those small ring gauges, we we love them. People don't buy them, yeah. but yeah, I buy them. Us nerds buy them. We buy them. That's about it. We yeah. buy them. Um, so those are like two big releases and then going on the complete opposite subject of what we were just talking about, small ring gauge, we're coming out with size extensions, uh, a big, really, really big ring gauge. Yes. Um, Seven. so, so over here, yeah, project 40, 770 natural and Maduro. Um, so for all, take one of these yeah, out. go for it. All right. Let's get some scale for <laughs> perspective here. I, mean, I don't have the biggest hands, but like, but it's, it's a big cigar. It's a really big cigar. Um. So yeah, if you are a big ring gauge smoker, um, Project 40 National and Maduro are you know one of our value brands that you can probably find in just about any store. So if you do like big ring gauge, this is this is the cigar for you. Awesome. All right, all right. I think we covered it. Is there anything else uh, coming up the rest of the year you can talk about or events you're going to be at? Anything you want people to know? Um, I think I'm doing Rocky Mountain Cigar Fest in Colorado. I'm in. Mean, that's uh, our event. That's yeah. our favorite. Oh, it's one of the best. Uh, I think I'm doing Brew City Cigar Fest in Wisconsin. Nice. Uh, international viewers, I'm going to Inter Tobac. Uh, might go around Germany a little bit. Don't know just yet. Um, I think that's that's all I got planned. Uh, in terms of cigars, secrets only. All right. Secrets only. You guys are always more of the secretive than anyone else. Usually, yeah. So. Yeah. You know, we want to make sure nothing gets leaked. Yeah. We want people to be excited about stuff, and we want things like be really really perfect so do you have people sign ndas and no 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 but so you're, not, you're not like movie production crazy to try and keep the lid on it no no but honestly i like i'm when i'm out and about i'm good at keeping like the lid on things but if someone like happens to come in the office and they see something or we're working on something i was like oh we're working on this new blend here try this yeah but i won't tell them what it is but, like here's a new blend to try or they'll see like a box we're working on like what's that i was like oh okay i'll tell you all about this brand yeah so I got loose lips sometimes. <laughs> it happens. Right. All right. Well, we wish you the best for the next year until we talk to you again. We'll see you at Rocky Mountain. Bradley, it's always a pleasure. Awesome. Thank you, Anna. Thank you, sir. Yeah.